Today, our continent sleeps, moves, operates under a shadow of conflict. Across Africa, most of the countries are not sure of what is going to come tomorrow, what is happening, whether there will be changes, what type of changes. There are so many uprisings, there are so many conflicts. Terrorists are taking people. Elections are being bungled. Military coups are coming. This is a shadow of conflict. Shadow of conflict comes when you find uncertainty in almost every country of the continent on the continent of Africa. And this has happened because of the four factors bad governance, natural resources that form part and parcel of the economy and the social strata of any nation. Then we have external darker forces, what we could term as neo-colonial hangovers that still remain with strings attached, especially in the Francophone-speaking countries. Then lastly, we have bad elections and the elections in Africa. These four factors create what we call and have one mode that's operating. In all the four factors, there is a common denominator, which brings up, grows up, goes on growing, and that common denominator is corruption. When you look at corruption in all the four strands that I have mentioned, you will find that corruption is in any, in everything of the form. Corruption is in bad governance, causes bad governance. Corruption is in distribution, economic distribution of our natural resources, the equitable distribution, who are the investors and who are not the investors. The question of Uganda, for example, now there is a big debate there about the coffee, who is an investor and not an investor. You find that when you see foreign external darker forces with a neo-colonial hangover mentality that still control, controls Africa and makes Africa ungovernable, this is also a force, the George Soros approach of arming the opposition to overthrow governments, to have uprising, regime, violent regime change. Those, that's another factor. The last factor that also with a common denominator is the bad elections that are conducted on the African continent. And these elections, indeed, if they are bad, they will always create a conflict. So even a bad election being conducted on the African continent will result into a conflict. Therefore, Africa still walks in the shadow of conflict. If we make these things work properly, if we root out, we get out corruption, we throw out corruption, we fight corruption, we put laws that will remove corruption among us, the institutions that were left there during, after the colonial master left, he will not come back to use those same, same type of uh, institutions to dismember us. But as long as there is corruption, corruption in every part of Africa, in every part of, of the world that you move, most of the countries have tried in Africa. We have tried, but we haven't tried enough. And we are not good, and not good enough to fight corruption. Corruption is the center that brings breaks every time when there is a conflict in Africa. I submit.